Don't bite this, okay? You get electrocuted if you bite this. It keeps you warm. It is uh, 9.18 on Thursday, February the 25th, 2021 and it's very cold here. I think it's minus 2 degrees Celsius right now. Uh, not sure if you can see this, let me focus. Uh, minus 2 degrees Celsius at about 50% humidity, so Mori is shivering right there. But I've given her uh, an electric blanket and if she stays there uh, like this, she will get warmer. Ugh, so cold. So cold, Mori. So cold, Mori. So today, uh, it's quite simple. Yasuo has done a lot of cleaning with me uh, over the last one or two days. So um, all I have to do is to clean up what's left over, which is uh, which are the flat surfaces here and over there. Uh, they just need to be vacuumed and then wiped down. And then we'll be ready for the landlord to come on Sunday to formally discuss uh, the, the, the contract, uh, probably just a verbal contract. And then I can start bringing in uh, the contractors. So far, the contractor who has come in is in charge of his local contractor, Mr. Sogawa. He has been in charge of uh, his in charge of electricity, water, and gas. So electricity, no need. Uh, everything works here. Uh, water, the bathroom is working fine. Perhaps uh, he might need to take a look at the firewood because the bath has both firewood and uh, also kerosene heaters. The firewood heater does need the stove does need a bit of a repair. He's going to look into that and he's going to also get in the propane guy, the propane LP gas, LPG guy, to install some gas for the kitchen there. Uh, I'll have to get a stove, of course. So that's uh, the main contractor. And on Sunday or Monday or Tuesday uh, next week, the tatami guy will be coming in to look at the tatami. Uh, I like to, I like him to have a, give me a quote for replacing the tatamis here. This kitchen floor is really quite dirty here. The rest of the rooms, they actually look pretty okay. They may need some sunning, so I'll have to take them out to beat them, dry them uh, in the sun, and they should be ready for use. I don't think I have to replace the rest of the tatami. So uh, that's quite good. That means I can save on the uh, all renovations and all that. And then this house can be where I live. I could run a small little cafe here for friends first uh, and get ready for maybe a bigger cafe project uh, next year or later this year, next year in the original house that you first saw um, that I was repairing, the one that's kind of more broken down. So that means that uh, I can move here without having to spend too much money at first and slowly work towards having a farmhouse there. But first, some cleaning. <laughs> The tree's flat. It's uh, very cold here, that's why.
the more you clean, the more you discover there's more to clean. And uh, once you wipe off the soot, this room is dirty because of the soot from the hibachi. In front of us, you can't see it. It's uh, hidden below the tatami. It's actually an uh, old hibachi, which means uh, you can set a fire and uh, light the fire in this room. And uh, I think all the soot from those years have accumulated. And uh, there's some fungus growing here and, here and there, some mold. I'm wiping it away, but as you wipe it away, you see the very nice colors and wood grain uh, of all these main beams below the dust. So the problem here is the more you wipe, the more you discover how nice it is and you have to start wiping and wiping everything down. So that's one problem. Happy problem, but you can see you can still see all the banged up, all the red colors coming out slowly. What I have now are some tools that I can polish this floor with. First, I have to sweep everything clean again. There's still bits of dust in there, but not much. I'll do this first, and then uh, I've got this teabura, which is uh, used to polish floors. I'll wipe a bit of this to see what the effect is, and if it's good, I'll wipe the whole place here. Uh, and eventually, maybe the whole house will get a coating of wax, but for now, uh, just the floorboards on the angle.
so I've done the fir first application of the Teabura. Uh, this oil is not cheap. This costs about uh, 20 US dollars for about seven square meters. That's what it says on the can. I think this is almost like 10 square meters. So I've uh, applied it quite sparingly. And this is just the first round. So round number one takes 48, 48 hours to dry. And then round number two. I think I'll apply this uh, um, layer by layer very slowly because there's lots around the, the house to apply oil to. And it seems that no one has uh, polished this wood for at least 10 years, at least. Probably way more than that. So the, the, the wood is very thirsty for oil, uh, which, is, which is why it's soaked up so much oil. And you can still see patches here. I have to apply even more oil for this to become nice and even. I'm not sure what kind of wood this is. Could be chestnut. It's very tough. Very nice. It doesn't flex at all. It's very thick. Uh, it's like having tables everywhere. So this is almost clean enough to eat on. Uh, and as I speak, you can sort of hear a van. That's the broom arriving. Morning, it's cold. Okay, feel good. Not too cold. Okay, we're going back. We're going to have lunch, okay? Very soon. Let me open this first. This is very nicely wrapped for a broom. This is a broom, handmade in Wakayama. Uh, and it's arrived on time. This is the same broom as the one I have in Kyoto. Uh, and it comes from a city nearby called Wakayama City. The company has been around for over 100 years uh, since 1880. So uh, like this house, it's been around for, oh, this is 140 years. So uh, a broom shop making this for 140 years. This is hemp uh, made from the palm tree and the brushes are very fine like this. So it's very good for removing dirt on tatami. For a closer look, uh, this is the broom. If it's very small hemp fibers, good for sweeping the floor. At first there's some dust when you heat this. That's the hemp fibers inside. But after you use this for about one or two weeks, the, the, the dirt will go away and it'll be very good at sweeping all the smaller stuff in the tatami. So this is just the first step to get rid of some of the dust so that we, when we carry the tatami out to dry them, to air them, uh, they won't drop dust everywhere. So uh, that's just the first step to keep the house slightly cleaner. And now that the broom has arrived, I can go for lunch. Um, yeah, lunch time. <laughs> 